Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about the critical point or the equitime point, which are basically the same thing. And I'm going to show you how we can arrive at that critical point using the Pulley's CRP5 flight computer. Now, not many people know that you can use the CRP5 to solve this problem. In fact, it's not even in their user manual. Um, however, it can be done and I'll show you how it's done in this video. There is a formula for calculating the distance out to the critical point. However, we will be solving today's problem using the CRP5 first, and then we'll compare it against the calculated method for arriving at this distance. And if you're familiar with both, you can use either method to check your working um, using the other method. So instead of the formula, we will be memorizing and applying a little schematic where x represents the unknown value, the distance to our critical point, d represents the total distance between our departure airport and our destination, h represents the ground speed home, and the letter O represents ground speed out. If you're an ATPL candidate or a student pilot, then you might also have to solve for the triangle of velocities in order to get your ground speed out and your ground speed home. But for today's video, we'll just have a direct wind component. So let's get right on with it. I'm going to leave this on screen for a while so that you can appreciate our formula. Distance to critical point is equal to the total distance between A to B multiplied by the ground speed home divided by the ground speed out plus ground speed home. So for those of you who are more mathematically inclined, I'll just put a bracket there so that you follow the appropriate uh, rules. All right, let's work with some numbers. Let's assume that our distance from A to B is 500 nautical miles. Uh, true airspeed is 300 knots and we have a wind component of let's say 60 knots. All right, so negative means it's a headwind component, positive means it's a tailwind component going outward. So that gives me a ground speed out of 300, sorry, of 240 knots and a ground speed home of 360 knots. And we know that the distance A to B is represented by the letter D and this will be our ground speed out, this will be our ground speed home, and the unknown, where exactly is our critical point, that will be x. So we're going to substitute these values according to this schematic. x is unknown, d is 500, Ground speed home is 360 knots. Ground speed out is 240. And we're going to add that to 360. So this in total will give me 600. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to line up the two known values, and then we will find the unknown value using this table over here. Now, how we use this schematic is this line over here represents uh, the dividing line between the 
uh, inner and outer scale. The outer scale is fixed and doesn't move. The inner scale can be rotated. And 300 is over the other side of the CRP. 335, 36, okay, so 36 will represent 360. All right, so I'm putting my cursor up there, and we want 600 at the bottom, and we know 600 is found inside this little black triangle. So what we're doing right now is we're lining up 360 knots with 600 knots. And then we're going to go along the inner scale. to look for 500, which is right here. So I'm going to show you that's 36 for 360 and 60 for 600. And then we're going to look at this side for 500. And 500 is found here. That lines up nicely with 300. So I'm going to say, OK, that's going to be 300 nautical miles. And that's all there is to it. And now we're going to compare that against the formula where we know x equals to dh over o plus h, where we know that the distance out is 500, h is 360, and I'm just going to write for clarity 240 plus 360. Okay, and that gives me 300, which is the same value that we had uh, gotten earlier. So these two methods can be used to check each other out, to make sure that you have done your calculation the right way, or that you have obtained the distance to critical point the right way using your CRP5 flight computer. And that's all there is to it.